A Fox 35 consumer alert, a new list of the U.S. cities with the highest foreclosure rates in 2010. Not good for Florida here. The Mi Miami area ranking fifth, Orlando Kissimmee area coming in ninth, also in the top 20, Daytona Beach area, Tampa, and Lakeland. So if you're among those who are teetering on the edge, you're struggling with your mortgage, you're wondering, Maybe it's time to walk. We've got some advice for you. We do from an expert joining us live tonight in our studios is attorney Matt Englet with more on what you should do if you find yourself in a similar situation. Matt, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. When, if ever, is it a good idea to walk away? There are a lot of people who are in financial dire straits right now who might just want to throw their hands up and say, I'm done. I know there's a lot of people who want to do that, but we never advise that people just walk away from their mortgage. You need to, even if you don't want the property anymore, you need to negotiate a settlement with your lender before you give that property up in a foreclosure action. Because what's going to happen is you don't really just get to walk away. The, the bank will take that debt and sell it to a debt collector and now we're seeing over the past couple of years that people ha who have done that, the debt collectors are now buying that debt and aggressively pursuing people right. in collection cases. So just because you supposedly walked away from your home does not mean you're relieved of that obligation. Right. It's almost the beginning of a vicious cycle in other words. I mean you're, you're out of one obligation technically speaking but you're into one that's probably quicksand. Yeah, you never really get out of the obligation. It, they just transfer it to right. someone else to collect on it. We only have a few seconds. I want to ask you this. How much flexibility do you have with the lender? If you call them, explain your financial situation. Do you find in your clients' cases, at least, that most of the time they're willing to work something out that is tailored specifically to you? Well, they are, but unfortunately, the lenders are not very easy to difficult. I'm, I'm sorry, they're not very easy to deal with. So, oftentimes, you are going to have to go hire an attorney and have that attorney litigate and negotiate a settlement to the case. All right, Attorney Matt Anglet, we certainly appreciate your perspective and your time. Thanks for coming in. Thanks today. for having me. All right, one.